So with 99% of other money glitches and exploits for Cyberpunk now removed or patched out of the game, finding an actual decent way to earn tons of cash is pretty hard. Well fear not guys, today I have for you which right now in my opinion is the best way to earn those edits. This will see you earning literally 5k plus edits a second. And I know for sure that doesn't sound like a lot, trust me it is. You will easily earn more than enough money than you will need in let's say 30 minutes to an hour, tops. How's it going guys, my name is DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. So if you guys didn't stock up uh, and duplicate those paintings numerous times, there's a good chance you will soon run out of that money or are in need of a new method to earn fast eddies. Well today I have you covered. So firstly this can work at any level, but for it to be the most efficient and for you to earn the most out of this, you will need to be at least a level 18 to 20 technical ability. I will explain after how you can do this without being a level 18 here, but you obviously won't earn as much. So let's go. The reason you need to be a level 18 minimum is because you need to have that edge runner artisan perk unlocked which allows you to craft legendaries. This is most important here. But to make it even more efficient on yourself, also make sure you have the cost optimization unlocked as well as the X knee high low. Does that say? I'm not even sure. With these unlocked and selected though, you are good to go. So now you need to go and get a legendary blueprint, the one you will be crafting today. The blueprint is the Ashura Sniper and you get it from where you can see me at on the screen right here. Go here take out these enemies and the main dude is at the top once you take him down you will receive this blueprint to all ncpd subcons suspected organized crime activity reported near intersection of sequoia and gray apb out on paul craven priors include corporate convoy hijacking also a known leader within an nc human trafficking ring Active affiliations include the Wraiths Gang. City authorities have offered a reward for neutralizing the threat. Now you are done here, you now need to head to this vendor junk shop you can see me at on the map right here. This guy is probably the best as he doesn't have any dialogue every time you enter his inventory and also when it comes to skipping time by 24 hours, you can do this right in front of him. So here go into his inventory and buy up all of his legendary item components, epic item components and rare item components. Buy them all. Then leave his inventory and skip time by 24 hours. Again, go back into it and repeat this process until you're either out of cash or get bored. Then what you want to do is head to the nearest drop point machine which is right here on the map. Once you are here people, head into your inventory and over to that crafting tab, select the Ashura Sniper and craft as many of these as you can. They should cost you thanks to that cost optimization, 16 rare components, 16 epic components and 2 legendary components. Like I said, craft as many of these as you can. The great thing about crafting these also is it gives you amazing crafting XP. 
And while having a level 20 technical ability and a level 20 crafting will mean you can make even more money out of this, which I will explain in a second. But yeah, craft away until you are done. Now back out of your inventory and go into that drop point machine and simply sell these shoes you've just crafted. You should be selling them right now for around 3,246 euro dollars, which when worked out is about 2,678 profit per item you sell. Now when the machine is out of cash, simply skip time by 24 hours and repeat. Now this does get miles miles better like I said if you're a level 20 in that crafting because this opens up the perk of crazy science which you can continue spending those perk points into and get even more money per sale of these items. What I did was I crafted a ton of these snipers, I then reset my perk points and I spent them all into this crazy science. Be warned though I suggest you make a note of your current build as this obviously resets points spent. And if you want to go back or revert, you will need to remember what you had before. And with me and my total of 67 points spent into that crazy science, I was selling each sniper for 5,713 euro dollars. Now I have been told this crazy science can go up to a level 100, but I haven't seen that yet. But that's probably going to see you earning closer to 8 to 9,000 euro dollars per item you sell, which would be crazy. Then when you are done with the selling part and want to repeat the process again, you can reset your points and spend them where needed or go back to the build you had before, if you have made enough money doing this. And well guys, it really is that simple. Now if you ain't a high enough level in that technical ability to unlock the artisan perk which allows you to craft legendaries, you can still use this method of buying components and crafting your highest tiered blueprint, whether that be an epic or even a rare. There is always a profit to be made, it's just higher up those levels obviously you'll earn more money. So if you want to do this but only have up to epic blueprints or even rare blueprints, go to the same vendor, check what the blueprint requires to craft then just buy them from the vendor, skip time by 24 hours, buy them again and repeat the process. Then craft as many as you can of said item and then just sell them to a drop point machine. It really is that simple. Remember though if you do this, make sure you have the right perks selected which makes things more efficient for you, if you can that is. Perks like the cost optimization, this will save you materials and is a must. But there we have it guys, in my opinion, right now the best method in earning fast money within Cyberpunk. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.